Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a daily reading to look at your current situation, what you might be feeling, and we'll take a look into love, career, and finances and overall. Spirit, please connect with the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self to get the messages Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video, please. Please be very clear and concise for Pisces. Let's see what popped out real quick. So we have the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, Knight of Swords, and Two of Cups popping out. So some type of balance that requires courage to navigate the change regarding a relationship or partnership or contract might be relevant for some of you. Let's see what messages we get from Spirit for this daily reading. All right, so what could your current situation be today, Pisces? We have the Four of Wands. This is security, stability, looking at relationships, also having something to celebrate during a very fruitful, beautiful, happy time. Also, with these little bears at the bottom, a certain element of innocence or youthfulness, like spirited um, youthfulness may also be present with you. What you, might you be feeling today, Pisces? We have the King of Cups. This is definitely in your masculine energy, independent of gender. The King of Cups is masculine, water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Let me take a peek real quick. So it's interesting that on this card, um, we have the flying fish, which shows some type of energetic movement or desire to fly or be set free. But then also in this medallion that the King of Cups has here, it emulates the Pisces symbol, but it has dolphins. So maybe it's referencing, you know, wanting to have you find your joy. What... What might be hidden from Pisces today, Spirit, Knight of Wands? So some type of change or action might be occurring. We'll, we'll get more information on that in a second. What does Pisces need to know about love right now? The Hermit. So some of you are really in a period of withdrawal or just introspection rather than being outwardly involved. You're more inwardly processing perhaps right now. What's going on in Pisces career and finances? What do they need to know? We have the Nine of Swords. So there may be some stress and anxiety around career and finances, whether it's, you know, is this really what I want to be doing? Or maybe even fears about security and stability. But here we see that this is just mental energy that may not be founded. Like it may not have a reason to be present, right? Like it could be a needless worry that's just haunting you. And what does Pisces need to know in general? We have the Queen of Wands. This is feminine by your energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, about being in your power, in control, self-empowerment. Um, some of you, it may be referencing the, um, to, <clears throat> par pardon me, desire to have business pursuits or to build something but overall we're having the general energy of confidence and beauty and strength and then what is the overall outcome for Pisces we have the world this is success completion fulfillment this is complete beauty and groundedness and cycles coming to a close while new ones open so let's go ahead and get clarification for you now Pisces to understand what spirit wants you to know about this message what is the four of wands for Pisces please spirit for the current situation what do you want Pisces to know about this four of wands for their current situation please and we're having the high priestess so definitely having some type of stability and security let's pull some more cards for the four of wands spirit what else do you want Pisces to know about this four of wands and we have the Six of Swords. So this is very nice, Pisces. Wherever you may be finding yourself at today, understand that you have the potential to achieve the security and stability. And have you have something to celebrate in your life. And here we see Pisces, the card of the High Priestess, um, 
transitioning from a difficult time into calmer waters and really working to have a better future for yourself, where you'll arrive at this Four of Wands stability celebration. Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about this King of Cups for Pisces' current feelings? What do you want Pisces to know about this King of Cups for current feelings? Okay, and we have three cards coming out for the King of Cups' current feelings. We have the Eight of Swords. So some of you might just feel a little bit stuck having some sense of not being able to move. Or for some of you, you might be waiting for something. Um, let's see. And then we have the Three of Cups and the Page of Swords. So some of you might be waiting to hear news and you feel as though you can't really move forward until you hear news but you're hoping to have something to celebrate for others of you i'm going to get another deck and clarify these cards spirit what is this eight of swords what do you want pisces to know about this eight of swords please what is this why why are they feeling this eight of swords okay and we're having the page of swords come out twice now so we'll just go with what we have here um we have some type of truth or clarity that needs to come forward, Pisces. Um, it could be regarding a reunion or regarding something where you're coming together with other people. The Three of Cups also, the number three is creativity and cups is emotions. So it's interesting to see right next to each other the contrast between the mental energy of feeling some type of trapped or stuck or restrained in comparison with the creative energy of emotion. So understand the, the um, this is in what you might be feeling. You may very well be having um, like contrasting feelings or emotions regarding what's happening in your head space versus what's happening in your, in your emotional space. And here, especially since we have the Page of Swords twice, this is, I really believe, Spirit asking you to examine your feelings and where you have contrast in your feelings to help you to navigate um, forward out of any type of restriction that you might feel. So you can really use that sword to cut off those self-imposed restrictions and mental restraints and move forward in your truth. Spirit, what is this Knight of Wands for Pisces in what might be hidden from them? What is this Knight of Wands? The Knight of Wands is also fire energy. Hold on, guys. Um, pardon me. What do you want Pisces to know about this Knight of Wands, please? What is this Knight of Wands for Pisces, please, Spirit? For what is hidden? What is this Knight? Thank you. And we have the Two of Swords. What else does Pisces need to know about this Knight of Wands, please? And we have the Page of Wands. Anything else for this? <clears throat> pardon me. Knight of Wands, please. Anything else for this Knight of Wands? Okay. And then we have the Tower and the Hierophant. So there might... There's some type of change that is occurring, Pisces, that you may not very, you might not be privy to, or you don't really know anything about. You're sitting here with a blindfold on and this Two of Swords, and there's darkness and a moon behind you. So there's some degree of unknown in this particular situation, which is hidden, right? And that's that's perfect because, well, not perfect, but it fits the um, particular position of what is hidden there's some type of change that's occurring around you that you are not seeing or aware of and you may very well be getting some type of message that's suddenly and unexpectedly coming forward or even shocking um the hierophant is a card of taurus it's a card of um obviously it's priest but um it's organizations commitments a card of taurus as well so you could very well be receiving a message suddenly and unexpectedly that you don't see coming that's a result of some type of change that is occurring either in an organization. Let me find out what this Hierophant is. Spirit, please come near and show Pisces what this Hierophant is. What is this Hierophant? So for this Hierophant, Pisces, we're getting the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. So we have... 
the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands. This is fire energy, masculine, independent of gender, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So you could have somebody coming to you that has fire in their chart or who may be in a position of leadership within an organization. And they may be communicating some type of offer um, that can really impact you for the long term. So that can be different for each of you, Pisces. Some of you with the Knight of Cups, it could be a romantic offer proposal. And for others of you, it could be, um, and that could be a person. For others of you, it could represent some type of emotional change or an offer that's emotional for you. So let's continue. Spirit, what is, let me get a drink here. Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about this hermit card in love? What do you want Pisces to know about this hermit card for love? And we have the six of pentacles. What else do you want Pisces to know about this hermit card for love? And we have the four of swords. So the hermit card and the four of swords both speak to taking time, taking a break, and going into some type of period of rest. So you may just be taking a break from relationships. Maybe you were in a position where you weren't getting equal give and take or things were off balance. So you've decided to maybe take a break or really have some introspection around this particular situation in love and your emotional space. And maybe you're just biding your time or choosing to rest from love situations until you feel as though you have somebody who can reciprocate and have that equal give and take, you know, and, and you see somebody that you want to choose to be generous to in the future. And Spirit, what is this Nine of Swords for career and finances for Pisces? What is this Nine of Swords for career and finances for Pisces? Hold on, guys, one second, please. Okay. So we have the two of, so the, I stand corrected, the two of wands and the magician. So you may be in a place of anxiety or stress or worry regarding career and finances, but you can choose to manifest something different for yourself. Instead of investing your energy into stress and worry, harness that energy as this person is taking that energy in their hand, almost like one of those video games where you have that ball and you're like, woof, you know, right? So Sonic Boom, right? Anyway, Sonic Boom, your career baby. Anyway, so here we see really choosing to harness that energy into manifesting something new for yourself. And in the position of career and finances with this magician, you have all the skills and abilities in order to create something new for yourself in career and finances or to make the changes that your heart is desiring. What is this Queen of Wands for general for Pisces, please? What do you want Pisces to know about this Queen of Wands? What is this Queen of Wands? Okay. So we're having the Two of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Six of Cups. So a couple things. First of all, when I saw the Two of Pentacles, I was thinking turning hobby into passive income or something that brings you joy here, right? Maybe you have some some skill or some hobby that you used to do in the past that you can revive or bring forward again um, that's going to give you a sense of renewed joy, but then also you may be able to turn that into passive income as well. Also, we have the Two of Pentacles with the Sun. So this is making a choice to choose happiness and move forward with move forward and form new happy memories as well. So what is this world card for the overall outcome for Pisces for this reading, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this world card for the overall outcome for this reading, please? What is this world card for the overall outcome for this reading? Please be clear, Spirit. What do you want Pisces to know about this world card for the overall outcome? Please be specific. What is this world card for Pisces, please? What do you want Pisces to know about this world card, please? And we get the world card. So the world card is definitely clarified by the world card, but let's see what the rest of the story is. We have the Queen of Swords. This is feminine air energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Then we have lovers, and we have the world. 
So Pisces, you may very well be having somebody with air energy approach you regarding some type of union. Let me get clarification for the spirit. Please come here and clarify the Queen of Swords for Pisces. What is this Queen of Swords for Pisces, please? What else do we need to know about the Queen of Swords? So a Queen of Swords may have may be reaching out to you, but they're doing it, they might be doing it from a place of ego. Or in the past, they have approached you from a place of ego. Um, they do find you very beautiful, though. They're very highly attracted to you. There's a, there's a very strong, intense physical connection. What is this lover's card? What is this lover's card, please, Spirit? The lover's card is also a card of gem. Wow, look at this. Like, this is crazy. Like, we have the world, the world, the world. So this is all about cycles, hardcore. What else do we need to know about the lovers? What else do we need to know about this lover's card, please? What else do we need to know about this lover's card, please, Spirit? Anything? Oh, let me get this wrong. I had the wrong deck. What, what do we need to know about this lover's card, please, Spirit? Anything else for this lover's? The Knight of Swords. So some type of change has taken place. Anything else for this lover's? Okay, so we're getting the lovers clarified by the world, the Knight of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. So there may be, as one cycle of love or connection or blessings closes out, there's a change that's rapidly approaching to bring something new in, whether it's this Queen of Swords person or energy. Something is profoundly changing with in a relationship or a dynamic energy or a blessing that's going to cause this shift to bring you into this new emotional beginning now let's clarify this world card since we had this world card twice here what is this world oops wrong back again what is this world card for pisces please what is this world card for pisces what do you want pisces to know about this world okay so for this world card pisces we are getting the hierophant the fool and the two of cups so yeah this person i'm really feeling maybe considering a new cycle with you or maybe having you on their mind about coming forward with communication and to have they may be thinking about a commitment with you and a new beginning in love we have three world cards so this person also sees you as somebody who is very fulfilling for them and a very good compliment to them. And they wanna charge in and offer you this cup of love. This is um, quite striking actually, because it's like, you know, what is the overall outcome? And we see here, Pisces, that you're, you're really focused on moving towards a better future. You know, you might have a little bit of contrast going in going on within yourself between your mental and emotional space but spirit is asking that within your feelings and emotional space that you take the time to have truth and clarity with yourself so you can have emotionally emotional mastery but then what is hidden there's some touch there is a change that's occurring with an, a person around you an energy around you or a situation around you and there's going to be something that's impacted long term, whether it's an emotional change for you or some type of offer coming towards you. In love, we see that you're in a place of repose or you're kind of withdrawn a little bit and you're not necessarily accepting offers or interested in interacting with people if it's not an equal give and take around work and career or career and finances we see that you may have some stress and mental anxiety but spirit is asking that you harness that and really take that energy and utilize it with your skills and abilities to create something create something better than stress and anxiety actually create something that's going to be useful and productive for you whereas stress and anxiety isn't doing you any favors in general, we have the Queen of Wands, which speaks to you being beautiful, charismatic, independent of gender. You're being in your power, very um, driven, perhaps, 
in the ability to create and bring new happiness into your life, whether it's forming new memories or utilizing something from your past and bringing it forward to build something, a new creation with it. Then we see for the overall outcome that we have the world card three times Pisces. So there's definitely something very powerful taking place in, in your energy right now that may either involve an air sign or you may be making a definitive decision for yourself um, to change your connections, relationships, However, this resonates with you, we see that there is going to be some type of change. Some type of blessing is going to come forward into your life, whether that is a person, an energy, or something else. However, how it manifests into your life is going to be different for each of you. But ultimately, we have the world card again, which shows that we have something very stable and very solid that is coming forward in, in order to enable you to have some type of new contract, commitment, or relationship. So that's quite a bit for the overall um, energy that's occurring. So please, Pisces, take it as it resonates with you and leave the parts that don't, but I hope it helps you. Spirit, one card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces. One card for the overall message of this reading for Pisces, please. And we have solitude, which is a card of the hermit again. So, you know, some of you might, you know, really just be in your heads right now or needing to take that time to gather your thoughts, restore your peace and assimilate the experiences of your past so you can move forward as a wiser, stronger, more experienced version of yourself. This is a message I have for you today, Pisces. I hope it helps. God bless.